guys, and today, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today, we are talking about, ten, um, bosses that should be in Minecraft. First, we got the Desert Temple Guardian, Guardians. They drop, they will drop that knife thing he's holding. Butter spreader. And he will also drop the helmet he's wearing. Chucky. Desert Demon Squid. Chucky dolls. Okay. It would drop a desert ink set. And it could also drop the Desert Demon Squid Eye. You can use the, de the Desert Demon Squid's eye. Do you want, well, it's not a boss, actually, that's just his minions. Yeah, the Desert Demon Squids are sent the, to attack you by the Desert Temple Guardians. This may look like just a flower, but it's actually a boss. It will, it's a giant flower that... Shoots poison at you. Or poison or slowness. And sometimes can shoot fire charges at you. And can teleport. And it opens up like a Venus flytrap. It can, it can go inside the ground and come out of the ground and eat you. And when you kill it, you can also get the, um, the foliath head. The head of the flower. Not the baby. You can also pl there's a bunch of this is what their minions look like. It's a mo it's a mo moazius mob. It's a it's a mob and it will yeah it's it's minions and it will. Kill its minions, you get you just you just get those leaves that I was talking about in one of my video in my last video. I call this the crystal crab. So this thing spawns in caves, and if you kill it, it drops um it drops any type of ore that it has on its back. Sometimes it's gonna have diamonds, emeralds. It's super it's 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 super rare for it to have diamonds and emeralds, and sometimes it can when it spawns in the nether. It will have nether, ro nether ore on its back, and it will be made out of, and it will be, and uh, instead it will be made out of netherite blocks. They're super rare to find in the nether. The trolliger. The trolliger either spawns in villages, or spawns in villages or caves. A trolliger, well, usually spawns in water and also has water breathing. And if it hits you, it can give you poison. It will only attack players and villagers and other mobs. It, it will attack everything, even other trolligers. Oh, except it's really peaceful to animals. Just monsters, players, and villagers are what they're mean to. I don't know if I've done this mod before. The M. Right? I don't know. It can fly. And it drops with like and whatever it's called, wings. It can also sometimes drop the spines that it has on its back. Hornet larva. Hornet larva is what a hornet looks like when it, a baby, it's practically like a baby hornet. You can breed hornets by using, um, I don't know what to use. 
But when they when they get older, they get the colors of a hornet. So they're like babies, but they have the colors. And they when you kill them, they drop hornet stingers. Hornet stingers. But if you kill them, other hornets will come to attack you. And also, if you get too close to them, they will attack you. Here's another idea for a frozen zombie. Well, you know, if it hits you, it will freeze you in your tracks. I don't know what to call it. That's why. Run in the comments below what you think it's, what it should be called. It also drops frozen rotten flesh. These are living, these are like, I don't know what to call these either. But all I know is that they're living ores. And that. If you get too close to it. It will be inside like a little hole in the wall, pretending to be an ore. And if you pretend, that, if you go to mine it, um, if you get too close to it, or if you pretend, or if you hit it once, it will try to attack you, and you have to kill it in order to get the ore that it has. Here's another boss battle. I call it a sea monkey. A sea a monkey. If it hits you, it will get well. It will also send, it will give, it will give you slowness, but sometimes it can be a little help, it's rare for it to be a little helpful and give you, um, water breathing. And when you kill it, you get a, you get a sea monkey tail, which allows you to breathe underwater, and any mob you hit with your, with your hands, um, Gives them slowness. A koala. Well, you can only find the koalas in the jungle biome. Yeah, it's so cute. A red panda. Not so cute. To give me an idea, you should be able to put bells on cows. A three-headed wolf. It will also spawn um, a one-headed version of the wolf to attack you. And um, and if you do enough damage to it, each one head will come off and you'll collect. And after you kill it, you will get three of their heads. I never really wanted this thing in the game, but it made the game a little more... Mm -hmm. What is that? The chimera? It's like a three-headed mutant animal. Oh, two-headed. Can I just play outside? It's not. Give me, give me it. I need to play outside. And it can drop. And it can drop. And if and it can also drop two, two heads. All right. This is like a new mob. And when you kill it, it's called, I, I think I should, it should be called a desert sheep. I think it says it's for Minecraft Earth, but it should be for Minecraft Earth and Minecraft. And a desert sheep drops either sticks, dead, dead, um, dead bush, or brown wool. An ender warrior. An ender warrior can teleport, has three head, three eyes, and throws whatever that is in his hand. It looks like an end portal from it, but it has. Hey, every time he throws it at you, if it hits the ground, it would break. So it would hit the, so it would be like, like an, like an end. And then, yeah, he has a sh he drops the shield and the end and an end portal f and that new end portal block and his three eyes. You guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.